we'll come to the captivating world of the Anticosti Island, a hidden gem in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Discover its pristine natural beauty, diverse wildlife, intriguing history and exciting activities for travelers. Join us on this virtual journey to uncover its hidden treasures. Anticosti Island, known as Ile d'Anticosti in French, is a captivating island nestled in the heart of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Located at the confluence of the St. Lawrence River and the Gulf, this island is a natural wonder with an area of 7,892.52 square kilometers, making it the 90th largest island globally and the 20th largest in Canada. Separated from the Labrador Peninsula to the north by the Jacques Cartier Strait and from the Gaspé Peninsula to the south by the Huenguedo Strait, its strategic location has made it a pivotal point in the maritime history. Through vast and size, Anticosti Island is sparsely inhabited, with just 218 residents as of 2016. The primary settlement is the village of Port Menier on the western tip consisting chiefly of the keepers of the lighthouses erected by the Canadian government. All of Anticosti Island falls under a single municipality known as Ile d'Anticosti. Notably, Anticosti Island's treacherous coastlines, stretching 520 kilometers, have earned it the moniker Cemetery of the Gulf, due to over 400 documented shipwrecks in its perilous waters. The largest lake on the island is Lake Vikenden, which feeds the Jupiter River. There are numerous rivers on Anticosti, many of which flow through deep gorges and canyons to the north and south shores. Anticosti Island experiences a subarctic climate, which is moderated by the maritime influence of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, resulting in reduced temperature fluctuations. The island has an average annual temperature of 1.9 degrees Celsius. July stands out as the warmest month, boasting an average temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. On the flip side, February claims the title of the coldest month, with an average temperature of minus 11 degrees Celsius. Snowfall is substantial, typically accumulating over 300 centimeters in the western and central regions of the island. Now let's talk about the history of the island. For millennia, it was the hunting grounds of indigenous peoples, known as Notisquan to the Inu and Notigostec to the Mi'kmaq. In 1534, French explorer Jacques Cartier sailed its shores, naming it Ile de l'Assomption due to his arrival on the day of the Assumption of Mary. Over time, it was spelled differently and remained a part of French's colonial empire. The island's first European settlers arrived in 1680, when Louis XIV gave Louis Joliet the scenery of the Mingan Archipelago and Anticosti Island as compensation for reconnoitering the Mississippi and Hudson Bay. After Joliet's death in 1700, the island was divided among his three sons and the Joliet family retained ownership until 1763 when the island became part of British North America under the terms of the Treaty of Paris that ended the Seven Years' War. The island changed hands several times, primarily used for timber harvesting. In 1874, it was bought by the Anticosti Island Company, and they founded the villages at English Bay and Fox Bay. Most of the inhabitants, however, continued to be the few keepers of the island's many lighthouses. In 1895, chocolate maker Henry Menier purchased Anticosti, developing the village of Port Menier, creating a personal game preserve and introducing non-indigenous animals like white-tailed deer, which now thrive in abundance. The Quebec government acquired the island in 1974. Today is managed by CEPAC, with a significant portion designated as a national conservation park, drawing tourists for salmon and trout fishing, hunting, paleontology, bird watching and hiking. 572 square kilometers of the island is protected in the Anticosti National Park. In addition to hunting and fishing, many other outdoor recreational activities are supported in this park, such as hiking, horseback riding, nature viewing and sea kayaking. Within the bounds of Anticosti National Park lie three captivating natural wonders. 
The Voreal Waterfall is a stunning natural spectacle on Anticosti Island, where the Voreal River plunges 76 meters before flowing through a 90 meter deep gorge. Up north, Tor Bay, also known as Bay de la Tour, offers breathtaking coastal views framed by towering cliffs, making it a paradise for bird enthusiasts. Another attraction, the Potato Cave or Grot a la Patat, beckons explorers with its impressive 625 meters length, ranking among Quebec's longest caves. Its name originates from the Potato River, Riviera a la Patat, which in turn derives its curious title from a massive granite boulder resembling a potato situated at the river's mouth. To reach Anticosti Island, visitors have two options, by boat or plane. From April to mid-January, the Relay's Nordic commercial shipping company operates a passenger and cargo vessel to Port Menier twice weekly. The Port Menier airport is served by air liaison, offering regular scheduled flights to Sept Ile and Havre Saint Pierre. Additionally, there are two other aerodromes on the island, mainly used by outfitters and charter companies during the tourist season. The island's main road, the Henri Menier Road or Trans Anticostien Road, runs unpaved from Port Menier to the eastern tip, providing access to various tourist spots and logging concessions. Car rental services are available in Port Menier, making exploration of this island's natural wonders convenient and accessible. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting stuff about the Anticosti Island that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.